Okay, this is part two of the Illinois M17X uh, R2 review. Um, this is mostly a first impressions review because I've only had it for two days. Um, check out part one and I'll tell you about some of the problems I've experienced and some I talked about uh, some of the fixes for the problems. Um, so you don't have to call Illinois, Illinois if you don't want to or Dell. Um, in this video I just wanted to show a couple things. Um, I can find it here. Um, I have in my hand a USB receiver, a wireless USB receiver for a mouse. And I just wanted to comment that they changed the BIOS up a little bit on this one. Or software. But when it detects an external mouse, it turns off the... Not only does it turn off the synopsis pad, it also did, um, darkens the... or turns off the lighting behind it. So you can know it's in inactive. I just thought I'd comment on that real quick. Um, I've been noticing, at least in my personal model, that the status indicator lights, although capacitive, sometimes are very non-responsive to my touches. Uh, sometimes it does not accept my touch very, um, very well, which is um, a little bit aggravating. Um, as far as heating issues, um, I haven't crashed from heat overheating, but I, I have ran um, GPU-Z in the background while running a video game, and I've, it was clocking the maximum that my card hit at some point was 97 degrees Celsius. Um, that was just the general GPU. There's like four different temperatures. There's a general GPU, and there's a GPU-1 temperature, GPU-2, GPU-3. And uh, that, was, um, that was really high. I, I haven't actually seen how hot the CPU... God, I have run uh, a, a stress test. I can't remember which program it is, but they have a stress test built into it, and it also reads your sensors and uh, your temperature sensors. And uh, thanks to Turbo Boost, um, it kind of it kept the processor down to around 74 degrees C Celsius, which um, I, my desktop processor actually runs uh, significantly hotter with. But I am using a stock cooler on it. Like an idiot. Um, but anyway. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, selected a song. This is Pendulum Set Me on Fire. Uh, I had a uh, request by a friend that I do this particular part in the song as well. So, uh, let me start the plug in real quick. Hopefully, it started. So that's the Illinois um, effects plugin for Winamp. Uh, one side downside is when you stop, uh, it uh, turns off your backlighting, which makes it very hard to see your keyboard and mouse. But uh, it's really simple to restart it. Start your Alien Command Center. Change the color. Click Cancel. Close it. Okay, this is uh, Counter-Strike Source, because it has a benchmarking engine in it. I figured I'd go ahead and try this one. Uh, let's go ahead and show the settings. Uh, 9200 by 1200. Of course, the default resolution of the monitor. I just, I have, you have to disable vertical sync to be able um, to... Um, actually maximize the frame rate, otherwise it holds it back at 60 frames per second, and you can't get anything higher than that. I have multi-core rendering disabled, um, only because my brother had determined that it actually seemed to have helped. 
I'm not, I was having issues with it. I turned it off because it was off. I don't think I can actually get much better because the processor is too efficient as it is for a single core. Um, but anyway, these are the settings I've been working with. Um, I, motion Blur just got... Apparently they did an engine update not too long ago and enabled Motion Blur. I didn't even know it was in there. So, um, until a couple days ago when I started fighting with it, I left it off because I actually don't like the Motion Blur because it can, makes me dizzy. <laughs> anyway, uh, anti aliasing is at 8 MSAA, which is as far as high as you can go. And I started filtering 16. Um, all these other settings are at maximum except for the multi-core rendering and the wait for vertical sync, which you want it to be off, and uh, the motion blur. So, I have net graph turned on, so I'm going to actually zoom in on th the net graph so we can see our frame rate. This camera may not actually be able to keep the frame, keep the frame rate. Now, 300 frames per second is the maximum that it'll let it draw at this point. And you notice it, it keeps, it'll actually keep hitting about 300 FPS or 299. That's as high as it'll let it go. I think it would actually, its average frame rate would be higher if it could actually go higher. Now, let's go ahead and see what the results are. 245.86 frames per second. Um, I will make one note on Counter-Strike Source that, uh, depending on the map, um, it's going to determine your frame rate. The lowest I've ever seen was um, the port map, which is the default map. Um, I saw it drop down to 50 frames per second, and that was about it. And it averages usually around, on that map, at least 98 to 100. So, keep that in mind.